Hello, this is Guy again with uh, Gentleman's Edge, and I have a great day here for you. And, uh, She's not the boss of us, is she, Floyd? Is she Floyd? <clears throat> you know what? Just for that salt, little salty remark, I'm going to feed you something really good. Open it up for a second. I know you're watching me. Eating a half a quail. And boy, is it snowy outside. As I showed you. It's not cold, it's just kind of a wet snow out there. I need to get out there and do some business here in a minute. So, I'm going to feed him since I didn't take him out flying today. And he is... Uh, Hungry as usual. Now see, a bird like this, or a raptor, they eat everything. They eat the feathers, the snow, the, the, or the, the feathers, the, the, the head, the guts, the bones. They eat every part of their kill. And they can eat almost a quarter of their weight. So he weighs two pounds, so he should be able to eat almost eight ounces, but I'm going to take him back out to his meal. Okay, sorry for the interruption. Uh, Anyway, I want to do a mail call. A customer of mine from Steamboat Springs uh, always has me do four or five of her dad's razors. And <clears throat> he's real particular about how sharp they are and, and everything about them. But uh, she sent me this razor as a gift. And what this is, it's a keen cutter. Simmons Hardware Company, made in America. Made in America between, oh, I just say 1800, it's close enough. Uh, the handles, uh, the, the scales are in perfect shape. Uh, I, I already checked the edge, <clears throat> and the edge is nice and flat. Uh, I haven't checked the quality of the edge except for seeing if it's flat or not, not wavy. <clears throat> so, the only fault that I see is somebody polished 95% of the gold diamond that was right here. You can still make it out, but anyway, this this is a this is a collector's item. I'm kind of surprised. Uh, everything I have is, is old. It's nice. It's nice. I like to shave with the old stuff. So I, I I can't wait to get something new though. So. Anyway, I dropped it in the barbicide, so that's nice and sterilized. And the next step I need to do is I need to check the edge and see where it's at. I don't know what happened to this edge, but I want to have to put on a new edge on it, so I'm just going to leave that there. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put some tape on it. And all the only thing this does is, well, this is actually very important. I don't want to try to minimize it, <clears throat> but what this does is it protects the spine from any wear and tear and and it uh, <clears throat> holds it at a different level 
so that the edge can be honed and the edge be, can be reset. So I might have to change tape a couple times. So I'm going to do this kind of quick because I'm expecting another mail calling today and I'm excited to get that. What I want to do is if I get the mail call today, I want to use this razor to shave with. Okay guys, going with the uh, 4000 grit here. And I'm just going to do about 30 passes real quick. Nice and light. Everything's got to be light. So the last thing that you want to do is put a bunch of grooves in your blade because they're a mother to get out. So, feels feels good. It feels nice and flat. So that's always a, a big deal because there's some razors I get. It's like I don't even want to waste my time honing them because the customer is going to get it and they're going to think it's a good blade and with the warpage they're going to probably cut themselves so so I lost track I don't know I talk too much <clears throat> Isn't my wife a little pip? side is wearing differently than the other. I can see that. I don't know why. about 20 more light passes with this uh, 4000 grit Always making sure to get that tip. I try to use a couple different patterns. So, uh, if there's anything going on with the stone, with the blade, I can also kind of turn it around this way too. Five more light, 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 really super light ones. Can you hear my hawk's bells out there? <clears throat> He's just dying to go for a fly. I'm going to take him out though, but... Alright, so... That's that. Let me wash this off. I'm going to do about 50 here, so...
me assess this blade again. Just some here is looking good. <clears throat> the tip on this side has got a, a wider bevel. <clears throat> Let me check it out. See some pitting in the edge. Uh, in certain spots, but <clears throat> so I'm gonna just kind of keep going with this <sighs> with this here, okay. Oh, I forgot my tape. Do I need a tape? Eh shit. So here I am in Colorado. It's like December 24th, I think. I don't know. I don't keep track of the date anymore. I don't remember how old I am anymore. But I mean, yesterday and the day before was colder than shit. And today, you can almost walk around with a damn uh, shorts on. Anyway, strange weather, huh? I know everyone's experiencing it too. Also waiting on my 12k stone from Poland. It's like, man, it makes me wish I would have bought something local. Spent the extra money, you know. I'm gonna have to uh, write them. Yeah, I'm gonna have to write them and find out what the heck is to hold up over there, and if they're gonna keep hold of that for a while, they have to send me something, a souvenir. From Warsaw. I know you're not going to hear any of this because I'm going to fast forward through all of this. bunch of metal coming off but there is some <clears throat> all right I'll tell you what I'm gonna go reflatten this thing and get some of this metal off here I fixed my 
flattening device. Put on some new paper and new glass. It's heavier than hell though. So I'll be right back. See, the stone's got some very small pores in it. And when you fill it up with metal and from spent uh, stone in there, then it's, and you, and you, and you can feel how it's just real slick. But when you take it off, you can feel that drag. So, that is important to know because you don't want to be wasting your time.
don't know if you can see the edge. I don't assume so. Anyway, what I'm finding is uh, Well, it does have a bit of a warp in it, I think. And uh, a little warp isn't bad. <clears throat> so I'm going to do another 50 on this. Okay, time for the films.
like his razor's cutting pretty good. Um, ah, boy. Okay, so what I'm going to do... So I'm going to go check my mailbox <clears throat> and see if my my razors or my uh, mail stuff, water stuff has come in. <clears throat> anyway, um, that's that's why I hone a blade. I, I think this I think this King Cutter is a, a cool blade. It's I like I like the old-fashioned stuff, you know. Um, probably because I you know uh, seen my grandfather used and just his tools and just the mentality and everything I, I really appreciate I really appreciate that so my grandfather was a big influence on me and uh, anyway so I just cut my towel all up just trying to rub it anyway I will see you on the next video this is Guy Solis for Gentleman's Edge and remember Every day is a good day for a shave.